answering any of your questions. Give him your ticket. This officer is right here harassing my son. She already has his driver's license, registration, and car insurance in her hand. She's asking if he's on parole or probation, and he has to answer her. He said, no, he's not on parole or probation. I said, go give him the ticket, and he, she will not. She's just standing there. What are you waiting for, ma'am? For what? For a traffic violation? Okay, but you're making this dangerous. You're escalating it. Go give my son his ticket, and we will take care of this in court. You will not be the judge and executioner on this property right here. You will not. Go give my son his ticket. You have his ID. You can easily run his ID and see if he's on probation or parole. Not this child. Then go do your job. Why are you standing there? Why, and why are you holding on to your gun? Why? Your hand is on your gun. Go run his ID. I'm being violent? No, I'm not being verbally aggressive. You will not change this up. You will not create the narrative here that we've been seeing on the news. If he ran a stop sign, that's what you're saying. We will happily take the ticket. But I will not allow my son to stand here in front of you with his your hand on your gun. That will not happen. He's not leaving. He's standing right here. My son is not leaving. No, he's standing on our property line. We own this house. He's standing on our property line. You said he ran a stop sign, right? Go give him the ticket, and then you can leave in due time. You guys, she done called for black backup and everything. Y'all share this video because my son will not be the next hashtag. Not going to happen. If he's, if you're not going to give him the ticket, we're not going to stay out here. Then go give him the ticket. No, I'm not leaving my son in your hands with your hand on your gun. You are free to go give him a ticket. If he ran a stop sign, it's no point for this. You have his driver's license, registration, and insurance in your hand. You just looked at it. You're trying to question if he's on probation or parole because he's a black man? Go get, you can run his name and go give him his ticket. But you're not. You're not. You said you fear for your safety, but yeah, you could go to the car and give him your ticket and this shouldn't take longer than five to ten minutes. But you're not. My son will not be the next hashtag. It will not happen. You free to leave off our property because if you slip and fall on this property, guess who's liable? It's us liable. So you're not going to give him the ticket? No, we, we're giving you reasonable enough time to identify him. To uh, Don't fold our paperwork. Please don't damage our paperwork. We're giving you a reasonable enough time to identify him. Look, y'all, she got his license right there. Got his license right there and still got a hold on to her gun. Got his license right there, but she still want to ask for, to identify him. Tanea, she's calling for backup. She calling for backup for whatever reason. Like, he literally got pulled over when we came outside. How long do you plan on just sitting here staring when you could go give him the ticket? No, you probably wouldn't because I heard you on the radio yelling at him. I heard you on the radio yelling and screaming. That's why we stepped outside. I heard you. My son will not be victim to you guys. I'm sorry. It will not happen ever on my watch. Ever. Go give him the ticket. And look, you got five minutes to go give him the ticket or else we're going inside. No, he, if you're not going to identify him, give him the ticket. We're going to go inside. I'm trying, we're, he's not leaving. This all ours. This is all our property.
He is not leaving. No, because he's at home. He's not leaving. You are the one that's going to leave. Look, you're blocking traffic. You block, you parked right in the middle of the intersection. So you want to be a smart ass. Tanea, it's hard to calm down when I got a black son with the cop right here with her hand on her gun. We're in Elk Grove, California in front of our own house. This is our house. She says she not leaving. He is detained. She thinks he on probation or parole because he's another black man. Why don't you Google who he is? Because for your information, we not all on probation or parole. Right. We not going inside. So are you going to give him the ticket? How long we been out here now? 10 minutes? Because Jessica, he said, she said he ran a stop sign, but she kept on questioning if he's on probation or parole. He said, no, she refuses to run his information to give him the ticket. So now she's just standing here. She doesn't call for backup. And you see, this is what I tell you about white people. Don't trust them. Probably calling, she probably scared. Don't leave, she'll be all right. She'll come at the door in a minute. I ain't never seen nothing like this and i feel so stupid because i'm the always the one she ain't gonna take her eyeglasses off she she she's scared to take her hand off her gun no he looked like he on probation or parole because he a fucking black man and my husband is recording it we all out here not on our watch i'm sorry y'all my baby in the house and she's scared Brookie, stop calling me. They think they gonna kill my baby. Not gonna happen. Over an alleged oh, right. Over alleged ran ran a stop sign right there and she pulled him over and he was pulling in the driveway. No, because you're not racist. That's why, Rochelle. That's why you don't think that they all think like that. Because you're not racist. So it's a difference. But just to update you guys, this officer is holding us up. We in front of our house right here, in front of our house, pulled over my black son, yelling, are you on probation or parole? He ran a stop sign, but yet she, re she is refusing to give him a ticket. But he is detained, and she's just standing there. And that's what's going on right now. Now she done called for backup. That's what's going on right now. She don't know who she messing with. And they have the nerve to have on a blue lies mask. Have the nerve to have on a blue lies matter mask. Y'all, please watch this because she is refusing to give my son a ticket and has her hand on her gun. Give him the ticket. My son would not be another one of y'all hashtags. Y'all been in the bell all day with icy hot flexorel Motrin. My back went out on me and now I'm dealing with this. She said 31350. We gonna, we gonna Google that. Thank you for recording. It's our neighbor on the corner. She ran, he ran, she said he ran the stop sign, but she won't give him the ticket because she thinks he's on probation or parole, but she won't run his license. Give him the ticket.
ticket. We fight. We'll fight this in court. It's not even an issue about the stop sign. We will literally fight this in court. She and she says that I'm escalating it. She's escalating it. That's exactly what I said. Thank you, Rochelle, for the share. Get her tattoos on her ass. See how she's trying to cover them up. Y'all see them tattoos? She just trigger happy. Look, she just trigger happy. She just, she real trigger happy. Thank you, Maya. Y'all, I swear to God, y'all know all my son's accomplishments. He will not be the next hashtag going around on social media because this cop wants to stand here and do a standoff and not just give my son a ticket. Yeah, I see her tattoos. And she covering them up with the Blue Lives Matter. I see all of that. She won't run his name. Nothing. What's your badge number? Can you read it out for us? Thank you. My son's in front of my house, um, Jessica. We right here in front of the house. He was pulling into the driveway and he got pulled over. I told him that immediately, you know, my son don't deal with that type of stuff. My son, I told my son immediately get out his driver's license, registration and insurance. So she won't try to, you see how trigger happy she is. So she won't try to tell him that she, he's reaching for a weapon. Cause she said that she feel like her life is in jeopardy, but yet she still won't give him the ticket for running the stop sign. But she feels like her life is in jeopardy, and we've been standing out here for at least five to ten minutes now. Longer than that. Closer to 20. I know he's a good boy. She don't know it. Her badge number is 297 Elk Grove, California PD. Her partner don't seem to think it's too important because if her life was in danger, she should be taking a coffee break and some donuts right now. Makes no sense at all. Makes no sense at all. Exactly. Just call, write the ticket. We'll go in our house. Can you contact your supervisor? Hello? Officer Johnson. Civil servant. Can you contact your supervisor? When? Yeah, have him come now because we don't appreciate this. Yes, we did, LaJell. LaJell. With her Blue Lives Matter mask on, the tattoos that she's trying to cover up underneath her watch and underneath the armband. And she says her life is in jeopardy, but she's the only one. We out here in pajamas, she's the only one. We heard this, um, her on a speaker, so we came outside. She waiting for us to make the wrong move so she could use her gun. That's why her hand is constantly on her gun. That's what she's waiting for, Joy. But she's saying her life is in danger, yet she's the only one out here with a gun. And her hand is on her gun. She has all the required documents to give him the ticket, but yet she is refusing to. I'm thankful he was by the house too. Luckily, he come over here two times a day to eat. Oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain. My question is, why does she keep on bleaching? Because she's are dilated too. Because she she's waiting. She's yeah. waiting for you to make the wrong move. He's just standing here, and I'm standing in front of him. His hands are by his side. First lady, that's what I would like. Also, give him the ticket. We will fight this in court. 